This is your radio. You're, you're, you're listening to your station. Hello, folks, and welcome to Folkology. My name is Noor, and I'll be your host today. With me in the studio is none other than Miss Hadir Al Khatib. Hello, Hadir. Hello. It's really great to be in the studio with you, Noor. Oh, it's great to have you. In this hour, we will get to know Hadir better as well as learn about her passion for folklore. Stay tuned to hear Hadir sing one of her favorite songs. <laughs> So, Hadir, you have to tell me, when did your passion for singing first begin? I started singing at the age of 10. My grandpa was a composer. Uh, I was inspired by his music. So uh, that's why I decided that I have to start exploring uh, folklore music and folklore songs and the old melodies. I decided then that I have to be a member at the music folklore group. Oh, wow. You're a family of talents, Hadir. Tell me, uh, you were introduced to the folklore community in university. What did you do exactly? Um, at the beginning, as an undergrad, I was a singer and also a dancer. I'm, I'm trying to be a dancer uh, at the alumni folklore group. You know what they say, practice makes perfect. Tell me, do you have a favorite song? Um, I have a favorite folklore song. <laughs> We sang it many times through our uh, concerts within the folklore uh, group. It's called Halewit Chamsina. I love it because uh, it's so girly and the costumes are really, really nice. And it's like a girlish style and, and really cute. So that's why it's my favorite song. Oh, I know exactly what you're talking about. I've seen a couple of the costumes and they're absolutely gorgeous. I mean, the colors are so vibrant and it's so cute. But I'm curious to know, what is your perspective of the folklore dancers? Other than the costumes being so cute and girly. Uh, my perspective about folklore changes a lot after joining the folklore group. I was believing that uh, folklore music or folklore dances are just dances and just music. But after joining the AC uh, folklore group, I found that music uh, in general and folklore specifically is um, songs that you can use to express how you feel, uh, either you're, you're happy, sad. Uh, art is a great way to deliver clear messages for people. 100% music is an amazing tool that we use to express our feelings and emotions in ways that sometimes words just can't. Sometimes you know, just the melody resonates with us and it really speaks to our soul. Unfortunately, that is all the time we have today, Hadir. Thank you so much for coming in today and participating on our show. Stay tuned, folks, for our next show here only on Folkology. <laughs>